shapes into forms project, the first thing we need to do is create four or five forms on our paper. Your paper is going to be a little bit larger than mine, but for now, go with this. Circle maker, please make sure that's flat. So you don't want it to be popped up like this, completely flat with the paper to make a larger circle. Pencil goes on the outside. So I have my first one. My next one, I'm going to do a pyramid. one will be a cube. It depends how you want your cube, but I want these forms to start interacting. So I'm going to put a cube here. Or fill out. So I have the two sides of it. My cube is not see-through, so I erase this part since it's in front of that one. Whatever angle this side is, that's what we need to do the same over here. Whatever angle this is, we need to do the same over here. I need one to two more. Um, I could make a cone. I can make a cylinder make a cylinder, so oval in the back. Down. I don't want to go past this because I want it to be behind the sphere. I like this to connect at the bottom. I feel like it is a little bit plain right in the middle. Um, so I'm going to add another cylinder. Once you have your forms made, we need to make our horizon line for the table. Halfway up on your paper, line jump, line jump. From here, we use the charcoal pencils. You need to decide which way the light is shining on your piece. So if the light is coming from the left side, I want my shadows to go this way. My light is shining from the right side. I want my shadows to go this way. I'm going to have my light coming from the left. So if I start with this cylinder or this cube, made in the left side pretty dark. And you can also use the loose charcoal. You want to go in that sphere form. Blend. the cylinder. I'm going to make it a little bit darker. On my cylinder, the little one, my right side is going to be a lot darker because my light is coming from the left. So curving, I'm pressing harder the closer I am to the right side. And I start to lift my charcoal a little bit more on the left. You can use your finger use a blending tool to blend that in. Now with the loose charcoal, it does get a little bit crazy. So make sure that you are this to be a little crisper. Another thing I want to point out, I'm not going to see the cast shadow of that sphere because it's behind this.
I will see my cast shadow of this, so I'm going to come over, move it around. the thing that I'm missing on this to make it appear even more real that would be reflected light so this is the light that's shining off of the table just hitting my sphere And next, the left side is going to be lighter, right side is going to be darker, particularly this edge. I'm not going to see my cast shadow with this one. Those tiny details, I am going to use my charcoal pencil to make the separation between these two things. So what's happening now is I kind of lost my pyramid. I want more of a distinction between the sides. Nice tip at the top. Cube. Left side's going to be the lightest, so I'm going to do a very light shade. I'm at the top. Heavier on the right. like this one, I want a really crisp distinction between those two. Now it's looking a little blobby. In combination with my eraser. I'm missing on my cube now is my cast shadow. So it's a shadow that goes onto the table. Dark. the reflected light bottom last but not least my larger one um, left side sides light right sides darker kind of a medium tone in the middle
we'll see that kind of shadow. Cleaning up any edges. And we're ready for the background. So for the background, we're going to leave the table in the bottom half black and white or black and gray. And then for the background, we're going to use chalk pastels. Pastels we're going to use analogous colors. Analogous colors are next to each other in the color wheel. So I could use violet, red, orange. I can use violet, blue, green, whatever it is. Chalk pastels are kind of like the, think of it like colored charcoal. Just gonna kind of scribble it. Blend it into a blue, because blue could be next with it. I go to a lighter blue. Lighter green. Smear it out. 